Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 6 of the video series on Postgres with RibMGR High Availability Cluster Lab Setup. Today we are going to set up a chair proxy as a load balancer. If you are new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. The information and links I am going to cover in this video are listed in the description below. With all that being said, let's jump right in. Before we dive into HA proxy installation and configuration, we need to understand what is HA proxy. So HA proxy stands for high availability proxy, and it's an open source software widely used for load balancing and high availability. It's designed to distribute incoming network traffic across multiple backend servers, improve the performance, reliability, and scalability of web application and services. Common use cases for HA proxy, web application load balancing, API gateway, failover and redundancy SSL offloading. With this humble HA proxy introduction, let us see how we can use HA proxy to leverage the Postgres high availability. I'm here on terminal connected to the three nodes as a root user. So the first step of setting up the HA proxy, we need to install it. So the command to install HA proxy is enf install HA proxy like this. I will use it like this and hit enter. I will accept yes. The same on the second node, dnf install. I will, I will put yes to force the acceptance and then HA proxy and hit enter. The same here, dnf install accept yes uh, HA proxy so, um, like this. Now we have HA proxy available on three nodes. Let me just clear the screen here. So that's it for the HA proxy installation. Once we have the HA proxy installed, we need to back up the HA proxy configuration file on the three nodes. So first let us check if it's the HA proxy uh, configuration file is available. We can see here it's uh, available on this nodes. So let's move this uh, HA proxy configuration to something like cfg original which is orange i add it as like this let me just move it here and the same on other nodes and the third node as well so now we have a backup for this file let me just check here yeah so we have already backed up this file now i need to switch to postgres on primary so the primary for me is the first node we can check but let me first log in as a postgres user let me clear the screen then we can rib mgr cluster show we can see here that this node is the primary one now let's log in uh, using bsql i need to create ha proxy user so i can use this one create user ha proxy with password you can you need to put here a complex password but because he, here uh, in sake of uh, demonstration i will put it like this my password and also i will add one two three now this uh, user is uh, created now let's grant this user permissions so i will grant uh, select on all tables in schema public to ha proxy and also i need to grant database postgres to this user like this grant connect on database postgres to ha proxy okay later on i will show you why i am doing this by the way the, those commands are replicated also to the other nodes let's test it so let me first uh, log in as postgres and let's check uh, if they are if this user is already on this node using bsql let's tune dg we can see here that the ha proxy is available as a user and let's make sure also it's the dg also is listed here the same to make sure that's 100 percent we are on the right path bsql and uh, list dg here and we can see here also the ha proxy is installed now we need to edit the the bg host base authentication file which is located under this path let's do it so u01 bg data data then bg underscore hpa let's uh, enable the edit and let's add this line the line is related to the ha proxy so the host indicates for the host database is postgres user is ha proxy the subnet is 10 10 200 and trust that means connect to the database as a passwordless connection so let's save and exit so what we have done here on the first node we need to do the same on the second and third and restart the postgres service so what i will do i will try to use scp because already 
already we have the passwordless SSH passwordless connection between nodes so it's easy to just copy it rather than edit it so let me just here but before I copy it let me just uh, test one thing uh, sudo I make sure that this file is already authenticate us or not sudo then systemctl reload postgres now I need to bsql h o l b g one yeah minus u H A proxy minus D which is Postgres and let's hit enter we are able to authenticate using the H A proxy so what if I did like this too it will give me a field to be able to access we need also to edit it on the second node so well, what we can do we can take this file scp uh, which is ol1 and then add it on top of this one uh, sudo systemctl reload postgres now let's try to access from here we are able right now fine let's do the same practice here in this node as well and let's try to connect inst instead of two let's connect to three because i am i did not restart or reload the postgres service now we will now we should be able to connect now we have the ha proxy able to authenticate to sql to postgres sql without password so in this chapter we will try to configure ha proxy so i have found a github account that help us in generating an ha proxy configuration let me share it with you this is the github repo called ha proxy postgres sql so how it configure we can generate a configuration by filling those uh, parameters i have done this but uh, take a look at this github repo i will share the link below in the description box this is my ha proxy configuration to set up a high availability and low balanced environment for postgres with read write and read only backends here is a brief explanation of the key components I will begin with the global. I will go quickly through this configuration file. The first one is logging. So this section is to configure logging for the HA proxy. This section is to create a socket. The mode for this socket is 660 and the user is admin. Regarding the SSL, I will keep it as a default. I didn't change anything here. Regarding the defaults section, the log will be taken from the global section, which is this one. The mode is TCP. Regarding the listen stats, which is a statistics configuration, the mode Mode is HTTP that means I can access those statistics using the browser the bind is all interfaces on the server and also the 7000 as a port the stats is enabled refresh every five seconds and the stat uri is root that means once you hit the ib and port immediately you will have the portal show you the back ends and all the configurations and the status of each back end and front end now let's move this is the most important part of this configuration so the front end here we have two front ends the first one is read write and the second one is read only the read write the mode for the read write is tcp the bind is on all interfaces with 5000 the access control list is check if we have one primary in this setup if we have zero primary or two or more the tcp request connection will be rejected otherwise if we have one it will be forwarded or redirected to the back end read write on the other hand the read only will have a mode tcp the bind is on all interfaces with 5001 the back end is the back end read only the back ends here i have the read write back end so the option i'm using tcp check and the tcp check will connect so in this chunk i'm send send a binary using the tcp check to connect to postgres the value here is in hexadecimal that's mean if i convert this one from hexa to ascii i will get ha proxy so this is the in hex this is the value in ascii so this part is to connect to postgres here we get the response back from the postgres server that we are authenticated successfully here once we authenticate we will send the query which is select bg is in recovery this will return for us if it's f that means false and means this server is primary if it's true that means it's an in recovery that means it's a standby server and only read mode is available the most important part 
is this part where we receive the column data which is if if it's if that means it's not in recovery means it's read write and means it's primary or master mode we are performing this check for those three nodes we have here the connection string for those nodes so if you have any other connection string you need to edit only this part regarding the read only backend similarly to the read write the only thing changed here is this part we need to make sure that we have the true as a result from the query which sent to the postgres and the same here we are perform this request or the operation on three nodes here on this backend sorry to interrupt you here please if you find my videos are informative like and share them with others that helps me a lot Returning back to the terminal, I need now to add the HA proxy configuration to the HA proxy configuration file. To do so, we need to edit this file or create it if case of you don't have it. Let's hit enter. Let me just here set paste and then hit enter. Let me just zoom in and paste. So the only thing you need to change in case if you want to take the uh, my uh, configurations, you need just only to change those three lines. You need to put your host name or the nodes or replicas that you have here and if, if you are using the default port keep it but if you are using un, undefault or non-default port for postgres you need to add it as well here for the read only backend and also read write backend which is here as well okay so you have two locations to edit so that's it let me save and exit let's get this file again etc ha proxy ha proxy ha proxy config the data written to the file so let's uh, do the same practice on the second node, I will do it fast. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom out and zoom into the third node. Configuration, we can see that they are written. Let me zoom out. So once we have those configurations added to the HA proxy configuration file, we need to disable the SA Linux. We can disable it, but for me, I will make it as permissive. So it will flag us in case if there is any issue inside the Linux. And why SA Linux is uh, causing an issue? Because uh, the HA proxy using the TCP wrapper, that means go to the network level and SA Linux will prevent the HA proxy to do such operation on operating system. So for me, I will just make it as a permissive but first let us check the configuration by using cat etc se linux configuration config and we can see here that the se linux is enforcing so just sit command will do that for me and let's cat again and make sure that it's become permissive so there is another also command we need to set enforce which is zero and we need to get enforce like this make sure that it's permissive that's nice so now we need to do the same practice on the other nodes as well so i will just run it quickly and set in for set in force zero get in force and let's also get etc se linux make sure that it's permissive here now let's do the same here let me first get etc se linux config and see here that's also permissive and let me just set uh, in force zero and let's uh, get enforce and make sure that it's permissive once we have the se linux configuration changed to permissive now we need to allow ha proxy on firewall to do that we have three ports so i have those commands so let me just throw them here on terminal to just enable yeah. success success and list now the same here nice now we need to start the HA proxy. Let's see how it will be. My system CTL started status HA proxy. And let's see it's running fine now here. The same here and the same as well here. And let's check the status system ctl status ha proxy nice system ctl status a proxy nice we need to make sure that the ports are listening so net stat minus a and t and the grip for example 7000 we can see it's listening 5000 and both like this yeah we can see here that the 5000 and 5001 are listening as well so we'll do the same here net stat minus a and t grip 7000 
and 5,000 and 5,001. The same here, grip 7,000, which is the stat, 5,000 and 5,001. So that means the HA proxy is running on three nodes. I'm here on Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. Now, once we have the HA proxy is listening on 7,000 and 5,000 and 5,001, we need to port forward those ports. So to do so, we need to go to the network, then NAT tab, and then the BG NAT, which is created. You can go and check the operating system installation and how we configure those things. Here, I need to add the stat which is the HA proxy stat. I will click here on this icon. It will add for me a row. I will add here HA proxy stat and it will listen on localhost 17.0.0.1. The same port on server, I will make it 7000 and I will just only get the first node, which is 10, the primary one and the port will be 7000. Okay, I will hit apply. Let me just go to the browser and check if I am able to access this. I'm here on Brave browser. Let's try to access this URL. We can see here that, yeah. So we can see here that the configuration, we have two back end and two front end, the read write and read only front end and the back end, which is uh, the read write back end and back end read only. We can see here that the first node is the primary. Yeah, we can see it here in green. Let me just zoom in, let you be in um, maximize and zoom in. Yeah, let you able. We can see here that the OL9 BG1 is in green. That means it's up and running as a read write. We can see that the read only back ends we have the two standby which is ol9 pg2 and ol9 bg3 so that means the configuration is running as we need so that is the ha proxy installation and configuration i hope you guys find it informative take care and i will see you all next time